Broadsword calling Danny Boy. This is Joe from Artalian TV. Today we're looking at uh, an image from the high rise, uh, high rise Mars orbiter. This is a really nice quality image. This one is about 25 meg or something like that. It's full color, it's not being resized and over compressed like most Mars images. So you've got some really nice detail. And we'll just crack straight on with it. Here's the link hiddenuniversemovie.com. This, uh, Here's the website, uh, and it just happens to be on that image as well. They've got a really, some really nice images on here as well, worth looking at. Um, you can download stuff from here, uh, and they're, they're nice quality images. Right, so let's crack on. We've got to keep this fairly short today. Okay, there's only a couple of things that I've spotted in this so far. There may be an awful lot more. Some of you guys out there may see a lot more in here once you've looked at it properly. I'm only just doing a quick one here just to show the, the most obvious things that stood out to me anyway. Um, the first thing I, um, I noticed was that there's a, a very strange straight line. Now this looks like water down here. Uh, but I don't think it is. It's actually, it's probably sand. <laughs> it looks suspiciously like waves in water, but, but sand can have ripples in it as well. So these are little dunes down here. Sand dunes with a bluish kind of sand. Uh, it may well be water, but sand can look very much like water. It has similar characteristics to it. It acts like a liquid in many ways. And, and this rock here looks like it's in water, and there's a sort of wake coming off the off the back of it there. But that that's quite possibly just sand. And there's different colours of it here. As you can see, there's the, the sort of blue sand mixing in with with the sort of reddish sand coloured sand here. So it's probably all just just sand anyway. But there's a very straight ridge going right through the middle of it. Uh, I just sort of noticed this earlier on today. Uh, if you, I don't know if you can see that. Let's darken them up a little bit for you. Uh, let's go in a bit darker so you can see it. Let's darken it right up. You can see it just here, and, it, and it, this goes right across this area. And it's dead straight. It goes right across. This could be an image anomaly. I don't know. Uh, don't know what it is. Um, but it seems rather odd that if, the, if this is a natural formation, there would be a straight ridge going, a perfectly straight ridge going right up through the middle of all this stuff here. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I really don't know what that is. It stops here where, where the sort of rock is and it just carries on straight in a diagonal 45 degree angle just straight across. It's almost like someone's got the photograph and folded it in half or, <laughs> or something. Um, very strange. Don't know what that is. If any of you have any ideas, let me know. I mean, it, it's, it could probably run a ruler along that. It's so straight. I mean, it's really straight, this line. So, okay. Any ideas on, on that, uh, let me know. Put them, in, put them in the description. I have absolutely no idea what may cause that. So, we'll move on. The other thing that, st that stood out to me, not only does it look like snow over here, which is not, of course, there's not snow on uh, This isn't snow. Um, this is probably salt. Uh, this was probably... Uh, a lake bed or even a seabed here and what we're looking at is where the, the water drying out the salt was left behind like you get in places on earth you know on on earth there's loads of salt lakes in america and north africa places like that all over the place um but it did occur to me that this may not be salt this may be chalk now if this is chalk um and it could be uh that is proof of a past past life on Mars because chalk is made from billions of dead little sea creatures uh, which then form a sedimentary layer of, of calcium, calcium carbonate. So this may well be chalk. So that was interesting. Not going to blow your mind that, uh, I admit, but it may be chalk. Uh, who knows? And there's there's lots of it about. Um, there's in Gale Crater around, around Mount Sharp, there's lots of these white deposits. It's probably salt, but it may well be chalk. Um, I don't really know. <laughs> uh, NASA have said nothing on the matter, as usual. Uh, there's another thing here. Now, this was the most interesting thing. Um, there seems to be water vapour coming up from 
here from from the ground now this looks to be like a, a, a collapsed sort of it looks to have been some sort of land slip here and this this kind of shale and and uh, loose rock here has kind of slid off the side of this mountain down here and you've got all this kind of rubble kind of slipping down the mountain and uh, into what looks like water at the bottom but it may just be sand uh, and there's this kind of white steam coming up here now this may be uh, obfuscation by NASA they, they often do this uh, they often cloak stuff with a sort of milky haze it may actually just be uh, water vapor uh, and what we're seeing here is just a cloud of, of like a fog um, this looks to be at quite high altitude this some of this um, so who knows uh, a fog can be caused by water vapor uh, it could be it could be sort of geothermal activity going on here where where the uh, the water is being superheated just underground and then kind of emitted back up through the rock who knows but the, th the thing that really got my eye was this thing in the corner here look at this now <laughs> this is some kind of rock okay yeah I admit that there's another one here but they do seem extremely symmetrical um, it's got a lovely curve to it on that one and this one here I'm mean, not only is it a very odd angle um, th now this angle may be distorted because of lens barrel distortion here so when it, this was probably this is probably upright this is probably perfectly upright but what we're seeing is where the lens of the camera has, 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 has distorted what we're looking at here it's curved it round, so it's kind of pushed it round, a bit like when you look at the the, the has cam on the on the Curiosity rover, the images are like a fisheye image almost, you know, and and things get kind of twisted and distorted, so that may be the reason why this thing is leaning over like this, but it, either way, uh, it's a very interesting thing. Now there seems to be a rock behind it. Now if you look in close, that looks, it may be joined, but to me it's it's luminosity is very different so this much further back this little thing here this is a rock probably meters be behind the the actual stone object here now this to me looks like a standing stone or obelisk um, it, it it's very strange I mean it, it doesn't seem to fit with the landscape around it it's totally different in shape and in sort of color to most of the rocks here um, it's very very different I'll show you some clips I've done of it uh, very quickly so we're not going to take too long on this it's only a short one there are there is also something else here but I, I, I took a clip here there's the, there's a raw clip there nothing done to that get nice and big it's got an interesting pattern going across it here here's the enhanced clip I've taken of that I've just up the contrast and played with it a little bit sharpened it softened it a bit very strange <laughs> now bear in mind that this is probably a bit distorted because of band uh, because of the camera lens being right up in the corner of the image if it was in the center of the image it would probably be perfectly symmetrical and not at quite at this angle either so it's a very strange what looks like a standing stone or obelisk I mean uh, it may be natural I could be completely off the mark um, don't know I am speculating here um, not illegal to do that so yeah what do you think uh, is this an obelisk it certainly looks strange uh, it's well worth downloading it I've clipped it out here and then stood it upright to show you how symmetrical it is I mean obviously it is distorted here because of it's right near the corner of the image so it's kind of been bent by the by the camera lens so this would probably be even more symmetrical than it is already but you can see that, that, that that's almost a perfect triangle there it's very strange um, it's hard to get any more detail out of it um, than that but you know you may be able to do better I mean if you it's a good quality image so you can zoom in clip it enlarge it do what you want to do it to it you know up, up the contrast sharpen it you might be able to squeeze a bit more out there might be something interesting going on on, on, on the front of this rock here but there we go that was that so we'll, we'll move on we've got another strange well not, not particularly strange thing there was something in the background also now when, when I see this thick milky white sort of um, 
steam or, or fog in, in NASA images, I always get a little bit suspicious because I always suspect they may be hiding something. Uh, they may not, of course. <laughs> it just could just be a coincidence that whenever you look behind one of these veils that they put or that are in the images, uh, there seems to be something hidden behind them. And here's what I found. It looks like a building. <laughs> uh, this is the raw clip. Now, you wouldn't think there's much there, would you? Now, this is from right in the middle here of this part, this kind of collapsed part of the mountain here, where all this kind of steam or whatever it is, uh, fog is. Now, if you look in here, you can just about make out some squares with shapes. There's probably quite a few in there, but it's so blanked over. Um, smoked over that it, it's really hard to drag them out. I mean, this is what you get. I mean, <laughs> nothing there really is there. But if you really darken it down, now here's the location. There we are. I've located it for you there. That's where you want to look. Just there. Okay. So this is that patch I just showed you. And when you really darken it up, where has it gone? There's a square just here. Now obviously it's at an angle. It's on the, it's on the quite a steep slope. This whole slope may have collapsed. This may have been further up. It may have been flatter. But you can just make out what looks like four walls of a square building here. There's, there seems to be a bit of a structure here. I don't know if you can see that. I'll um, I'll uh, I'll just brighten up a little bit for you, just to see if you can see that. Uh, here we go. Yeah, you can just about make it out. I mean, this is really faint. You're never going to get much out of this because of the 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 steam or, or, or fog in front of it. But there does seem to be a square structure there. It could be foundations of an old building. Um, there are civilization, civilizations on Earth that used to live on mountain sites. So why not on Mars? You know, um, give me one good reason why there shouldn't be, um, if you can. Uh, no one has done yet. So, OK, that was it for this. I'll put some close-up clips of these again at the end of the, uh, the video so you can see them a bit closer up uh, but this is well worth the download this one it's, a, it's such a lovely image and it's really really detailed and, and uh, some amazing colors in here it really is outstanding if only the curiosity and uh, opportunity images were this good uh, we could really go to town right folks thanks for watching thanks to all my subscribers I'll see you soon